getting it going here and Lipsick wasting no time getting things going. Hayden Heigl almost to the end zone. Got tackled at the one yard line. Thought he was going to punch that one in, but just get, uh, about next play, really. Fabian Pena, he knocks that one in from the one yard line and puts Lipsick on the board first as they pick up the touchdown to go up 7 0. Then later on in the second quarter, a little pitch and catch going over the middle, hitting it to Quinn Schrader, and the sophomore does the rest, stretching and muscling his way into the end zone for a touchdown for Lipsick. 14 0 in the first half. Spencerville trying to get things going. How about a little Pitch and catch, getting it out there to Tyler King across the 40 to the 38. But Lipsick's defense, very tough tonight. You see Fabian Pena getting in there for the TFL, getting a little help from Ethan Lommers as well. Lipsick taking care of business tonight, 34 to 21 over Spencerville. Those teams will play Columbus Grove and Allen East coming up next week. And speaking of those two teams, well, we got more from Spencerville. Actually, go to Memorial Field. Coach from the Lipsick Vikings, Joe Kirkendall. Coach, your defense played extremely well tonight. You got to be proud of your kids tonight. Incredibly proud of our defense. That's a, that's an excellent football team we played, and they present a lot of problems with the wing tee. You know, I'm kind of familiar with it from my PH days with Liberty Center, and it's what we went back to. And and our kids were incredibly disciplined and in reading their keys and and attacking it to right depth. And yeah, I can't say enough about that. The entire group because of the way they played and they did their jobs, and we got to the ball and we tackled. And as their good backs made some guys miss and break some tackles, the next guy got there. You know, so it was a tremendous effort from all 11 of those guys. Coach, on offense, you've got a senior quarterback. You've got younger players at the two running backs, but all of your guys perform well offensively as well. Well, the one thing we're blessed with, you know, is that veteran quarterback who played some as a sophomore and all last year, big, strong, physical kid. And we, the, the young guys are tremendously talented. And they're smart football players who know the game. You know, so when you get a Quinn Schrader and a Trent Seifer on the outside, you know, they, they understand how to adjust on the fly and they can communicate that to a veteran quarterback. And then you got to give credit to the running back. You know, Hayden Hegel has never played running back before. We moved him there this year from the defensive side, and he's still kind of raw, but, but obviously he's got good instincts. And um, I got to commend the, the offensive line because our, our open side, um, Adrian Carrillo and Braden Castile, our two seniors, um, they, they were phenomenal tonight because that was a pretty physical defense as well. And, and we really did a great job job and and at the end of the day our pass protection was tremendous to help get the ball to the outside guys yeah your kids played very very well coach just one final comment you're new to the conference everybody else has got years and years of films and tendency and so on is that a difficult challenge for your team it's not a difficult challenge for the team. It's more difficult for me and the coaching staff. You know, but we watch film, we break things down. And at the end of the day, we've learned, you know, over the course of 15 or 16 years of doing this, our kids have to know what they're doing. Our kids have to be able to play fast, so we can't throw too much at them. So even if we think we might see something that we can adjust to, if our kids can't handle it, we've got to let them just be simple so they can play fast. That's been a definition of Lipstick football for, for 12 years. Play fast and get to the football. And you've got Columbus Grove next week. The boys know that. They, yeah. might, they might have mentioned that. You know, but the one thing about the league that we, we really enjoy and appreciate is that every week you know you're going to have to prepare and you're going to have to play. You know, so we didn't, we didn't get to look for Columbus Grove. In years past, you know, we played Macomb or Liberty Benton. We might have had two weeks to get ready for them. But Columbus Grove only got one week to get ready for us too. So it's even playing field. We can enjoy the win over the weekend. And, of course, a huge game coming in next Friday.